Uh, what's going on, Zior? It's Mr. Waffles here, and we're here with the deck profile, uh, top eight finisher. Might have recognized his deck or this person from Gen Con. And as you can see, he's still prepping the Blue Wheel. The finals just uh, ended right now. But uh, yeah, we're going to go through your deck. So, what's your name and what your accomplishments? Uh, my name is Dylan Warren. I'm a player from Largo, Florida. I'm playing Blue Doctor Wheel. I played at Gen Con and I played here. I made top eight at both. Um, we low because I didn't think he hit the meta yet, and I feel like I was really the first one to splash the meta hard with There's an organ player made uh, top eight with black wheel I saw. Um, didn't see his list, but um, he, he got top, and then I got top eight, Gen Con, and here. Um, so trying to put Wheelow on the map, get away from the Krillins. Played seven Krillins today, so um, try, trying to change it up a little bit. That's good. Um, Awesome. Do you want me to just start going? Yeah, on? sure. I mean, like, okay. how was your experience overall? I mean, uh, my experience was good. I, I misplayed quite a bit. I really slept since Gen Con. Yeah, until um, you look tired. Yeah. In yeah. my uh, in my last match, it was against uh, Black Knight like again. Um, I don't talk too much on the misplay, but basically he corruptioned me, rejuved them all, got me with three corruptions. Um, I stare down his black swipe. Um, Eight came over. He, the uh, the player he accidentally shuffled the black swipe, thinking it was confrontation, back into his deck. And Eight let us reset. He discarded the swipe and Judge shuffled in his deck. Yeah. And he proceeded to corruption me three more times to Ouch. banish my top twelve, uh, yeah. which sealed the game. Yeah. But you know something I should I could have. Like for, felt you could have prevented in some way, even if uh, I had the option to yeah. possibly give him a game loss, and I tried to play it out because I didn't think there were. I yeah. thought like, so when my friend pointed out at the end that I let him shuffle across right to the top and proceed to finish my top six again. So it was unfortunate, but. Yeah. At least I know um, the deck's a contender. Yeah, yeah I, didn't, I didn't misplay. And if it wasn't for that, um, I had a floating beam on the stop of for eight. That yeah. would have saved the game. So, yeah. um, for the most part, uh, I played solid. And I, I top eight twice. So I, I'm happy. Yeah, you have it. Awesome. Yeah, with the deck. So, you're yeah, deck, so you starting off with some physicals right here? Yeah, so first, going to go through the physical attacks in the deck. Um, Wheeler doesn't hit hard with physicals, so most of them are just tech. Yeah. Um, starting off with two wall breakers. Nice combo. Um, yep, um, got one of these today. The reason for wall breaker, it, it gets a lot of criticism, but I play a red wheel build where I juggle the drill where your anger can't be lowered. Yeah. And head knocks and uh, other cards of lower anger are not enough against that juggle. Yeah. Um, if garlic players wise up and start doing that, it will become a real issue. Yeah. It, it beats my deck in playtesting. Wall breaker is necessary. All against a lot of anger decks in the meta. Wall breaking them for at least one turn. Yeah. Even two turns can win the entire game. Yeah. Um, had some close matches. Give a shout out to Alec Luton. I played him at Gen Con. I played him here. He's yeah. top player, player at Gen Con. Very close matches. Very smart player. Wall breaker helped a lot. And, and I, I played two garlics today. These were necessary. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so that's the first physicals. The next two are two sagacious strikes. These just have too much utility for me really not to run them. Um, the auto crit, the ability. I normally don't care about getting wallbreaker off, but I can level up by anger. So that is a nice option. Black captures, nasty card if it ever gets on me. Usually it doesn't, but I can get it off of this. And sometimes with ball decks, I get down to where I'm trying to dance around the balls at the end and trying to end the game because I mill, so I need to do a little bit of damage. Sometimes I need to steal a Dragon Ball to seal the game so they can't just ball out. Sagacious Strike really does that. Pops allies. It, it's really just got too much utility. Yeah, it's got so many answers for so many things. Um, so no damage really, but it, it does a lot. Um, next is, I don't even think it really needs explanation. Yep. Is three blue betrayals, setup drill ally. Um, it has too much utility. It doesn't really do a lot of damage in my deck, but um, the utility is necessary. You have to be able to do that. Um, next physical attack, I run blue slash at three. Um, 
It's real low and it's damage, it's like all yep. in one. Um, my level two, it does three life cards, and then a lot of times, since I'm blue, I run wall breakers, head knocks. I usually always set it up so that if it hits, it's a six mil. Yep, so, card's broken, endurance one as well. I've even had times when somebody digged me to level three, one of my mm -hmm. buddies, and he digged me to level three, and I proceeded to blow a boost slash, which when it hits on my level three makes them mill ten and I reduce two. Yeah. So another reason I picked Wheelow over like Piccolo, um, which a lot of people are playing, is I can win on one, two, or three. Yeah. Whereas Piccolo nail um, all of just about two. Yeah, you you bounce them and freeze even. You bounce them off one or two. It, 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 I mean, you keep them on one or three. It, it's rough. Wheelow, yeah. I can go anywhere and I can win on any level. Um, I just have to change my play. That's why we I've been saying it, it, it's not really autopilot. You, if you want to play the deck, you've got to play test it a lot. Yeah. But some games I sit on level one all game. Sometimes I jump to two. Sometimes I go to three. And mm -hmm. sometimes I go up, down, up, down. Yeah. You have to know the matchup. You have to feel it out. And you've just got to make good plays. Yeah. Um, next, three blue head knocks. Um, lowering anger. It, it does so many things. Stops anger decks. It sets their anger up for blue slash. My level two. There's plenty of times where this was a huge attack for seven. Yeah. That won me some games today. Uh, and endurance too. So, so many answers with this card as well. Yeah. Uh, being able to make sure they're angry at zero. Head knock, then blue slash. Especially on level two. Head knock seven life. If they don't, if they stop it, usually they lose their stopper for blue slash, which is going to three life mill six nice. because you just set their anger at zero. Yeah. Um, next thing, I wasn't high on this card originally, um, is three blue wrist blocks. I wasn't playing these in their original build. I actually cut blue guard for this. Got a lot of criticism for that too. Blue guard's a nice draw card, but every deck runs physicals, pretty much. Uh, I saw a black krill and I didn't run any today. But for the most part, everybody runs at least a, a blue betrayal. Red shoulder grab, red double strike. So even energy decks usually run some kind of physical attack, yeah. and you'll be able to pop their steps drills. Every deck, even the ones I've seen that are really low on steps and drills, run some. Yeah. And a lot of times, blue physical beat downs. They, they lunge, hit a stretch kick. You stop it. This card stretch kick. Um, this has a lot of answers to things, and you got to be able to clear field. Yeah. A lot of times, this matchup uh, comes down to can you control the field? Yeah. And these just help with that. Yeah. Good one for one. It's yeah. actually a plus one in your favor. When you're on two, you, they mill. Yep. Good, good stuff. This is three blue couch. This is one a lot of people tell me to cut, but it's endurance three. Mm -hmm. um, it often goes to the top because I have a power level of 10 on yeah. level one. Um, people just underrate endurance. Uh, other than Turles and Dig, endurance is huge. Um, endurance three almost merits a card to run just on that. Um, the card doesn't even have to be great. Um, also goes to the top of my deck, so not only do I stop an attack, it goes to the top of my deck. For endurance. I have endurance three. Um, and if I have positioning drill, I can put another endurance three on top. Yeah. So it can really create a wall. Mm -hmm. And usually when games go on for a long time, this deck runs. Yeah. So building up that wall, living for a long time, making the game last, yeah. usually puts it in your favor and gives you victory. Nice, dude. Um, next thing, two withering fires. Um, reason I run these, most decks run some kind of drill, whether it's smoothness drill, positioning drill, lookout drill is big against this deck. People told me lookout drill would shut my deck down, things like that. It really doesn't, um, because normally my level one power, it's basically mill top card and I nerfed lookout drill, so all my other builds through. On my level two, I stop an attack and it shuts off lookout drill, but I still want to be able to banish it. Yeah. Um, smoothness drill, positioning drill, orange matchups, um, red that runs drills, like I said, the red that things wise up and start juggling in the one where their anger can't be lowered, yeah. it'll be a problem in the meta. Yeah. I, I don't see people juggling that, but it, it's good. Yeah. So, Witherings, I don't like it at three, there's just not enough room, mm -hmm. but two definitely works. Still an energy for six on my level two. Blue Terror, energies. doesn't really need explanation, so three life, five life on my level two. So anything. Card. I run this card at one, blue double blast. The key is, I do my level one power. I set my anger to three. Mm. I'll dominance to level two. I still have three anger. So when I throw this, if they're not level uh, three or higher, they cannot prevent. So it's an energy for eight life cards, unpreventable. It's amazing. Won me a couple games today. I only run it at one. Mm. And then actually won me a game because a guy with a yeah. powering attack tried to get Bulma yeah. to 
stop this card because he knew I had it in my hand. Yeah. Then he realized I only have one in the deck. Uh -huh. So he had to take the eight unpreventable. Nice, dude. And win me the game. Um, next, two blue hand blasts. Um, these have a lot of utility, also win me some games. When I set my anger to three on level one, if I don't get blue dominance, these raise my anger two, they jump me up. I can lower my anger, opponent's anger two for a hit, or I can raise their anger two, which will set up the next card I can show. And the thing is, people play too wheeler, def wheeler too defensively from what I've seen. Yeah. You've got to have some aggression. I had games today where I entered every con. My first match the top 16. Yeah. Shout out to Joey Walter, really good player, plays my locals, good friend of mine. Um, I entered every turn. You yeah. got to have aggression with Wheelo. Yeah. You need the option. So, uh, I played Blue Ginyu, I turtled. I, yeah. I defended, 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 yeah. and won that game. Um, so you got to have the ability to do both. These gives you the answer. I throw it off level one with three anger, go up to level two, it does seven life cards. And if I raise my opponent's anger, I can set them up for this card. Blue floating me. Card's disgusting. I did it against Joey in top 16. I hit him with a hand blast, raised his anger two. I mastery, raised his anger one. Floating beam, raised his anger one. Level two is eight life cards, unstoppable, one in the game. Yeah. Um, against Alex uh, Bolden, another good player. Um, he made a misplay, which kind of gave me the match. But I hit two of these unstoppable for eight because he was at five nice. anger. And that was what really put me back in the game. A lot of people, I haven't seen anybody playing floating beam. Last minute decision, 6 a.m. before Gen Con. Yeah. The what you do? Never regret it. Um, next, energy defense. Got three blue bears. Of course, amazing. It completely swings the Ginyu matchup. Ginyu's heavy in the meta. Without these, um, the Ginyu matchup's kind of 50 50. Um, with these, I usually feel like I'm in favor. Um, I win. Because the they lost three power stages. Me. Yeah, they they the biggest play is they do level one power search for Napa try to shut me down. Yeah. Stop and discard Napa. Or and it's even utility because a lot of people run a Kami now. Yeah. They pop Kami. It, it's big. A lot of people play allies. Even if they're not an ally deck, they play some. So they're really good to have. Yeah. It's called tank. Um, next three blue narrow escape. I saw a lot of people cutting these. Of course, amazing. It's too good. You can put Blue Terror on top. I can put Blue Floating Beam to top if I set their anger up correctly. Enter and make it unstoppable for eight. I can yeah. set up Blue Double Blast. I can set up Blue Barriers against Ginyu. Um, again, Endurance 3 almost wants to play just by itself. The fact that it stops energy and puts two on top, it's just too good. Yeah. Um, Next card, everybody runs. Time is War's tool. Um, Self-explanatory. Snaps all attacks. Yep. yep. Um, this, I cut my sphere down to one. A lot of people thought uh, it's a mistake, but I cut it down to one. I've never regretted it. Never wish I had more. I've even considered cutting it down to zero. Mm -hmm. But just the fact of having it, having the option, be able to visit the pass for it, um, I don't think one of the deck is too bad. Okay. But in blue, you want to have a card. If it's not useful that turn, you want to be able to at least pitch it for your mastery. Three spheres, you can't pitch them for your mastery. You draw two of them, your opponent has no events. They're two dead cards. Um, people ask me online a lot that talk to me. They ask me, spheres, spheres, spheres. I, I've been saying since at one, I don't like them at three, two at most. Yep. I like it at one. Yeah. Awesome. Um, Next, I've seen a lot of people cut and stare down, down to two. I still like three for the simple fact that stare down kills the best card in their hand. Yeah. It's just you trade this card for whatever the best card in their hand is, yep. and that's that. Yep. Stare down wins games. Um, next is Wheelos History. You have to be real careful how you play these. Um, it's not just grab it, use it whenever. You really gotta play around dominance, decide when you're going to go up, go back down. So a lot of times what I like to do is if I anger up or if I dominance level two and I have another dominance in play where I know I can go back to two, I love dropping, um, going back up at the end of the turn. So, and then potentially drop again, like go down, use power, and then go back up. Yep. So it's potentially a seven mil. Uh, thought about cutting this to two, but it's it's just too good. Um, nothing like when I pull it times and then you mill you know yeah, still taking damage five seven even ten from just those um, 
Next one, three blue shifting maneuvers. This is another car I see a lot of people cutting. Still endurance, two soft physical energy. A lot of times I'm at three anger because of wheel level one, so it's not even banished after use, and I can cycle it with positioning drill. Um, I also am not too scared of my opponent's feeling right because I have wheels uh, set up to shut off events, which means it's safe from sphere. Yeah. Um, next card, I run lookout drill at one. A lot of people are trying to mill as am I. Um, and even if they're not, Black Corruptions, which really is why I kind of lost my last match. Um, banished my top 12 just for Corruption. So you got Corruptions, you got Visage, um, Namic Mastery. It just stops a lot of things. I can target it with Blue Dominance. So if I am against a certain deck where I need this, I'll grab Blue Dominance. If not, I'll pass on it and just let it hit the discard pile. Um, Next thing, I play blue positioning drill at two. Um, I'm trying to limit dead cards in the deck, so I think three's a little bit too much, but the card's too powerful just to run one yeah. swings games. Um, in games where you get way ahead and you know a deck has to be aggressive to catch up, I go to sit at level two and I make them pressure me. Uh, every time I stop an attack, they mill top card, I put one on top. So. If I get ahead early, I like to jump to level two and just control. Yeah, those cards just add up. It's like it seems like it's not much because it's just one. But yeah. you see it towards with, the end. Uh, with two, it's two card swing. Yeah. On top, I put one on top. So yeah. if I get an early lead, I just coast. I have no reason to enter. I just coast to victory unless yeah. they they pressure me. Yeah. Um, next thing, blue mental drill. Uh, this is a card I've considered cutting, but. Um, Every time I think about it, it just wins me another game. Yeah. Uh, being able to see the card and knowing um, I've come down to last combat, I need to know which attack to throw first. Got it like a blue slash or a double blast. One yeah. of them's going to go for game. I need to know which defense they have. Yeah. Mental drills, just key. Too good. Endurance, too, as well. Yeah, so I only play three different drills. I don't play biting. I don't play lifting. I've seen a lot of people playing those. You don't get enough mill off them. Yeah. Um, it's just more deck cards, mm -hmm. and you might end up milling two, three a game. Mm -hmm. But the fact that they're dead cards in your hand could lose you a game. Yeah. So the risk is not worth the reward. Yeah. Um, mental drill, positioning drill, lookout drill. Dominance, pick two, run with it. Um, visage. Um, gotta be played. I only think I pulled off one visage all day. Yeah. Um, if I had pulled off more, I probably would have. I uh, won a little more handily some of my matches. Usually that seals the game. Yeah. You have so much mill and everything already. If you get a decent visage off, yeah. um, probably not going to lose. Um, visitings. I know I said I was cutting down on dead cards. Visiting is too good. Um, put you back in the game. Yeah. Um, sometimes you get behind early, but you drop two visitings. And... Um, the next time your opponent enters, it's just going to swing the game. Yeah. Um, you get time, you get your wheelos and then to mill five, go back down, mill yeah. two, um, floating beam, make an unstoppable free. So, I, I just think visiting is too good to uh, cut out of this deck. Now, yeah. more aggressive decks, um, beat down decks. I, I, I cut visiting a lot in this format, uh, but this deck, I want the ability to turtle, I want the ability to pressure, yeah. um, and visitings help you uh, gain a control aspect. Um, these cards, um, again, it's all about utility. If they're in your deck, if they're destroyed from the top of the deck by any means, damage, effect, you banish your top three of your opponent's deck. That's huge because if they're all in your deck, they all get hit out. That's nine cards off your opponent's deck. It makes it a 60 card deck to a 51 card deck right there. Um, also, it turns off people's events. I, my last opponent, he held time for, I think, four straight combats and never triggered it. Some combats I just milled didn't throw attacks in the comments I did throw attacks mm -hmm. I wheel revival turned off time so I, I just turned it into a dead card for like four straight turns and times one of those cards people draw it and they just do not want to ditch it they, they cling to it for life and you can take advantage of that because you know they're not going to discard it um, and we look and really play off of that and show off people's events and make them pay for doing things like that um, Next thing, blue blockades. Um, some people like key buildups, things like that, but this helps the turtle aspect and also it gets really 
frustrating for opponents, especially when you're on level two and you have positioning drill, mill top, put one on top, and you can juggle these because um, when one of this card pile, you can use one to put the other, use one to put the other. So your opponent enters, you cycle all three blockades right to the top, you're not in combat, you drop three blue blockades. It's a huge wall. Especially against when you're going to wheel a level two. Yeah. Yep. Free mill. So, yeah, there's setups that can create dead draws. But it can, these three cards can win a game. Yeah. These three cards in position drill can win a game. Yeah. You just cycle, cycle, and if you're ahead and you don't have a reason to need to pressure, um, you just hide behind these and it'll win you the game. Yeah. Um, and the last card, Lou Dominance. I was originally running it at two, but the fact that I de-level, lose my drills, um, I like to go back up. And the thing is, some decks you need to do damage against. Um, in my match up against um, Alec, he was on level four garlic. He did red blazing aura and red destiny for minus five. But I jumped to level two, so I had plus two for my power, plus three for his power, so I had plus five. And I ended with all attacks. I had two blue head knocks, blue hand blasts, and um, another attack. So, again, that feeds the aggression of Wheelo. You really got to know when to utilize the plus two life, and you really need to know when to utilize the mill. So you definitely say this is a skillful deck, you know, you just can't just net deck and uh, hope to top, you know, kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, you can you can net, the de net deck the deck, but you really got to play test it. Um, it's one of those decks you do not play at the same time every round. Every match I played, um, sometimes I sit on level one the whole game, um, and I just keep passing, passing, passing. Sometimes I go to level two, I enter every single combat. Um, my last match of Switch, I played uh, Blue Ginyu. I passed almost every turn. Yeah. I just controlled, turtled, and won the game yeah. against Joey, top 16. He's Black Krill, and I know his build. We go to locals together, and I play him a lot. Um, I literally entered, won the die roll, entered turn one, entered almost every combat, and pressured. I, I figured. Um, I know his deck, I know he's a defensive control Krillin. Plays a lot of setups, a lot of drills, a lot of Dragon Balls. And. Um, I figured, you know what, if he had attacks me, he had attacks me, um, but I don't think he can do it. And uh, he didn't do it in that match. Um, and then I was able to pull it out. Nice. You know, so any um, things that you would change, or would you still be running this deck? Um, the only thing is, um, I think since people have the list, um, I've given you a little bit of explanation on how to play it. Um, I think once people figure Wheelow out, he will be near the top of the meta. I don't think he's the best person. I think Gideon's the best personality. I think Krillin is a close second. Even though Krillin topped a lot, I think Krillin, it was Krillin's heavier played. And KDD is just disgusting. Um, you can throw it eight to ten times a game, and you can't do anything about it. So Krillin and Ginyu are going to at the top. Namekian is still up there. But blue is so prevalent, people are scared to play Namekian. Namekian is still a top deck. It's just the amount of blue is scaring players away from it. Wheelo, the reason I play Wheelo, he does not have a bad matchup. There is no matchup that I feel makes this deck less than 50-50 chance to win. Um, some people say and tell me, you know, I played top 16, I played uh, Jared McBride, also a really good player, um, top 16, the Mechian Slug. A lot of people were like, oh, I'm sorry you got that matchup. Um, that's bad matchup for him. I'm like, no, I enjoy that matchup. And I, you know, I, I milled him down really, really fast. Um, and it came down to could he juggle his balls and ball out, but yeah. he couldn't.